Hey, hello everyone. This is Victor Mama from Excel Moments. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Excel Start directory. Okay? Someone is like, what exactly is he talking about? You get to find out in this video. It just has to do with the workbooks or the files that get opened when Excel starts. Okay, let's get into it. First thing you notice, and I decided to share my tax bar, which I don't typically do. Just to show you that Excel isn't open at this point, now I'm going to launch Excel. So I go through Start, I type Excel, and then I double click. Okay, so now Excel has opened up. What do you notice? Excel opened three workbooks for me just by a single click of the button. Okay, I click to open Excel and it opened three workbooks. So how did I achieve this and maybe where could this be useful? For some of us who get to shut down our systems every day, Whenever we get to start up the next day, we have maybe a couple of files, workbooks that we always need to have opened. Of course, if they are just one or two, you can easily just double click them. If they are maybe six or seven, for example, you know, it would be nice to have Excel just open them up for you without you doing anything. So all you need to do is to put it in some already assigned folders or directories. And once Excel launches, Excel opens up those, uh, you know, workbooks for you so what i want to do now is to show you those locations so you understand how they work so the name of the folder is xl stats you know x for x-ray l for lima and stats you know as one word so let's get into it so i go to my c drive first of all there are two locations that's the interesting thing <laughs> so there's one in program files pretty much in the uh, directory where you have you know, Office installed. So program files, you go to Microsoft Office, you go to root. This should be similar for most people, except if you have a 32 or 64 bit machine, then you might be in program files x86. So when you get into root, the next thing is Office XX or Office YY. Now, depending on the version you have installed, that will determine what you see here. Of course, if you're seeing Office 15, you know that's 2013. If you see Office 14, then that's 2010. Then if you see Office 12, that's, uh, you know, Excel 2007. But anything Office 16 is pretty much for 2016 and above. At least I use 365 and I see an Office 16. So just be sure you are in the right um, directory, you know. And you open Office 16, you would see an Excel start. So do you see the folder, Excel Start? So in this folder, I have two of the files that were opened. So if you check the files that got opened, you see my go-to special, you see number of Fridays in a year, right? Okay, so whenever Excel opens, it checks this folder to see whatever files you have in there and it opens them up automatically. But you notice that I have three files opened rather than you know, the two you see here. So where's the third one? So the third one is in the second Excel Start directory, which I'm going to show you. So we go again through Windows, so your C drive. In this case, you go to Users, you go to your profile. The folder I'm looking for is App Data. But depending on the properties and what you've set up, whether hidden files and system files should show up, you may or may not see it here. But the easiest way to get to it is go to Start and Run, which is Windows R, do App Data. When you come in here, you are in the directory you want to be in. You do roaming, right? You do Microsoft, you do Excel, and you see an Excel start folder. Now you see the third file, unique filter. So you can see the three files, unique filter, go to special number of Fridays in a year. Okay, right? So those are the three, you know, those are the three uh, workbooks rather that were opened when Excel started up. So once Excel starts, it checks these two folders and whatever it sees in there, it opens up. One thing you should also note for those of us that are a little familiar with uh, macros, you know that one of the options when you save, you know, your macros is you can save in a personal macro workbook. And the personal macro workbook is always available whenever Excel is open. So how does Excel achieve that? Whenever you save in the personal macro workbook, whenever you create that workbook, which is for the first time when you record and save in there, it creates a file called the personal.xlsb and saves it in this Excel start folder. That way, whenever Excel then starts up, you know, that uh, file is always open. Okay. So one thing you have to watch out for though is that if you have duplicated workbooks in both folders, then you would create a problem because Excel will tell you I cannot open two workbooks with the same name. Okay. 
my advice may be stick with one of them, you know, and just use one instead of the two. But now, in addition to these two, there's a third option too. Excel would check this by default, but you could also have a particular folder that is assigned, you know, to have your files um, and have Excel open those files. So let's um, show you where that is. So go to File, go to Options. My shortcut for that will be Alt, Tango, Orange. Then you go to Advanced. When you go to Advanced, you scroll down to the bottom, really, pretty much. Okay. So now, when you look at this section, the general section, you will see this here. It says, at startup, open all files in. Okay? So you can put another directory here. And when you put that directory, in addition to those two Excel start directories, Excel would also open the file that you have in here. So you might not want to create so much confusion. You could stick with, you know, maybe just the Excel start, but this option also exists. Let me just show you. Let me um, open up a... Um, a folder that I wanted to use to test this. Okay, so this is in my document, so you can see the name of the workbook there, get sheet names. So I'm going to copy this directory and I'm going to paste it in here as a directory that Excel needs to also check. So I do okay. So I'm going to close all my workbooks and I'm going to launch Excel one more time. This time I expect it to open four workbooks for me. Two from the first Excel start folder, one from the second Excel start, and one from this other directory. So let's do Excel again. Okay, double click, and let's see how many files we have opened this time. Okay, so you can see, fair enough, the four of them, and this is the last one, get sheet names. So this is really just showing you how to take advantage of, you know, the Excel start, you know, which is the directory that excel checks by default you know to open all the files in whenever excel launches so if you have a series of files five ten of them instead of double clicking each of them one after the other just put them in a particular directory or in the excel start directory when excel opens up it would launch you know all those files okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel, Excel Moments. You can make, you know, comments and recommendations in the comments section, okay? And like I always say, if you can think it, Excel most likely, very likely, can do it, okay? I'm out.